Okay, cue the hate, cue the madness, but what you gonna do? However, I am Simon Miller from What Culture, and I think if you do take a step back and look at this situation, no, Jinder Mahal is not really working as WWE Champion. Why? Here's why. The usual caveat with this, and that is I love Jinder Mahal, and I think he's done the best job possible with all the tools that he's been given. If nothing else, what an inspirational story Jinder Mahal is. He was nothing at one point, and then he became the WWE Champion, and that just makes me happy, and it makes me believe that if you think something is possible, it could be possible, because look what happened to Jinder Mahal, it could happen to you too. But that doesn't mean the way he's been used has been a benefit to the WWE Championship, and given how flat his feud with Shinsuke Nakamura is, no, I don't necessarily think that he's been a very, very good WWE Champion, and I don't necessarily think that we should continue this on for much longer. Now, straight away, I don't really put this on Jinder's shoulders. Some of the stuff he's been given to work with has been absolutely terrible, including all that racism stuff, which nobody needs to see in 2017. We didn't need to see it 20 years ago, but we definitely don't need to see it in 2017. I don't care that Shinsuke Nakamura is from Japan. I care that he's a good wrestler who just so happens to be Japanese, and there is a big difference there. If nothing else, the last part of that sentence shouldn't even come into play here. Where he's from is irrelevant. It's 2017, as I just ran down a few times. The world is tiny because of social media and the internet and Twitter and Facebook. Who gives a rat's where you come from? It's also the fact that you can tell that WWE doesn't actually have 100% faith in Jinder as champion. Look what he does most weeks. He comes out, he does a long ass promo. It's usually a long ass promo that's exactly the same as the long ass promo he did the week before. Sometimes he'll get into a brawl, but he rarely ever has a match. Because you know, in the back, people probably go, Jinder's not having the best matches, so let's not highlight that on TV. He also rarely closes a show. And when it comes to SmackDown, when you don't have those three hour running times, your main event, the close of the show, should really feature the WWE Champion. Because isn't that the point of wrestling? Whoever is your champion should be the guy that you want to see and therefore you hang around. That used to be the case. Ain't the case no more. And making that decision isn't an issue if it ties into the storyline or some idea you've come up with, but that's not what WWE is doing. Again, I just don't think they have the confidence in Jinder's in-ring abilities to actually put him in matches. And if you know that, Take the title off him already, build him up, allow him to get better in other ways. I know he's doing it on house shows, but that is not the same environment as live television. So if you want him to get better, do you know what you do? You don't give him the WWE title, maybe you put him in a US title program, and through that US title program, he'll get better at wrestling on live television because you're giving him the time and you're giving him the opportunity to get better at wrestling on live television. It's really simple. It's not like physics. It's like the simplest math. This is one plus one equals two, so the answer here is gender. That didn't make sense. It just undermines him instantly, and it is very similar to what WWE has done with other performers, such as Rey Mysterio. You don't remember, when Rey Mysterio was given the World Championship belt, straight away they wanted to let you know, but don't actually take him as World Champion. We're kind of just doing this because we feel like we have to. And that is always dumb. Outside of this, if you are the type of person that thinks a champion should be directly tied into the ratings, and I don't actually think that is the case in the modern day anymore, but if you do think that, well, Jinder isn't helping there, and he's not helping with live attendances either. Now, a huge reason for this is because John Cena left, and he is one of the last few people that will affect merchandise, and it'll affect TV ratings, and it'll affect how many people actually turn up in the building to begin with. But still, if Jinder is your world champ, and you want him to be carrying your company, give him the chance to do just that, and I don't think WWE are giving him that chance. This does, of course, tie into the whole WWE wants to get big in India thing, but we know how silly that is now, because yes, WWE are going to tour India in December, and guess which brand is going? It ain't SmackDown, it's Raw. Now the reason they are doing this is because even the people backstage know all the biggest stars are on Raw, so we've got to send them over, but of course they have put Jinder on the tour as well, because otherwise that would be madness. Ultimately, Jinder always faced an uphill battle here, because we did take wrestling logic and we threw it out the window. Imagine when he won the world title, what actually had happened, is WWE started to push him. They put him in different feuds. They started to shine a spotlight on him. And throughout the months, we went on a journey with him to where we'd be now. And maybe some of us would even be going on like Reddit and other forums. Hey, maybe Jinder's in line for a WWE title win. Wouldn't that be amazing? 
Instead, he's in a position that came so out of left field, a lot of people just shat on him straight away, as opposed to what we're meant to do in wrestling, which is, you know, build people. I mean, that word is used more than business. You want to get into the business and you want to build wrestlers. So let's build wrestlers. It's not like much is going to change now either, unless somebody decides we are allowed to make a major shift with this. But I just don't think that's going to be the case. So we're going to go from week to week and all we're going to get constantly is mediocre content. And I tell you right now, the last thing that WWE needs is mediocre content. They need something big. They need a buzz. They need a bang. And it's certainly worse when the WWE title is involved because we need to bring the importance and the prestige back to these top belts. And let's not bury gender either. This isn't gender's fault. Let's use what we've done over the last, I don't know what it is, four or five months, and let's take that and make him a bigger star in the process, because then everybody wins. You win WWE, gender wins, and I win too. And fans, that's a lot of winning. Just come up with an idea that works. Look at the TV and go, that doesn't work. Maybe this will work. Let's give that a go. I don't think Jinder is going to lose the title anytime soon either, so I'm really, really keeping everything crossed that something big or something drastic does happen, as opposed to, you know, literally repeating the same thing week in, week out, which is what we're doing on SmackDown now. It's the same thing week in, week out. That's bad. Why? Because boring. Now, don't forget to leave a comment below and let us know what you think about Jinder's reign as champion. Like, share, and subscribe. Head on over to whatculture.com. Read yourself some articles, follow What Culture on Twitter at What Culture WWE. My name is Simon Miller from What Culture, and again, before you go in the comments and go, rah, 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 I like Jinder Mahal, I think he's great, he could just be a lot better with the right material and the right support.